What's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Simon Servita. Let's make a beat. Research. Time to research. I'm really not trying to reinvent the wheel here, so I'm just going to kind of run through her songs and just copy the chord progression, then just change it up a bit. Ooh, should I give him the augmented? Should I hit him with that? Really soft. How's that soft? There we go. All right. Seriously, how do you mono legato this? Holy hell, <laughs> I'm never gonna get this. It needs guitar. Damn it, I really have to learn this game. <sighs> nah. <gasps> My baby. Oh, that kind of drops. Little minus two action, little RC20 action. Yes, sir. Let's do some more. There he is. Hello? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Can you hear me? What's that? My name is Bijan Amir, Toronto-based producer. Lucky enough to produce for a lot of cool people. Um, I guess most notably I produced on Ric Flair Drip with Metro, Offset, song with Lil Wayne, Bing James, released earlier this year. Produced on some Bryson Tiller stuff, uh, Party Next Door. Executively produced the Tommy Genesis project. She's pretty cool. She's Canadian, shout out her. You get me first. Okay. I'm coming. Okay. Be ready. All right. Uh oh. Let me put this down really quickly before I go. Where did we leave off yesterday? That's not nice. We can try D.Va. Oh, this one is clean! Now we're gonna add these to the R&B folder, updating and improving it, and then we will give this to people. Okay, let's talk about the big placement you have. I started making beats, I wanna say in 2008. 2014 is when I did the Battle of the Beatmakers in Toronto. Um, and that is where actually I met Metro for the first time. He was one of the judges. From the three beats that Metro heard, I think he liked them. And I ended up connecting with him after the battle about a year later, actually. And I just was like really developing a personal relationship with him as opposed to like a working one. Um, mm -hmm. I, I didn't really send him anything to work on ever until 2017. I made three melodies, which I thought were cool. And then I was like, oh, I'm pretty tired. It was late. I had school the next morning. I had school that day. No, let's just do one more, like something easy, something simple. And it was literally like that ended up becoming the Ric Flair drip melody. It was like the one where I was like, ah, should I, shouldn't I? A week later, I was in a movie and I got a text from him with like literally just a screenshot of like 
the FL project. And then a week before it came out, so October 31st, uh, 2017, he just texted me. He's like, hey, we have one. It's on this Halloween project, me, Savage, uh, and uh, Offset. And uh, I guess the rest is history. It just got certified like Ooh. yesterday to be six times platinum. Yeah. Congrats. There is hope. Can't forget this. So there's this guy named Eugene Music. He signed to Internet Money. He gave me a couple loops. I'm gonna make some beats, send it back over to him. Little, little hot potato action. That's like boom bap storytelling stuff. I'm liking this one right off the bat. Just kind of rearrange it so that it's a bit more sample vibed. I'm thinking like smooth Rhodes chords along with that bass. Big latency vibes over here. Oh, I kind of like this. That's a cool color. Oh, just throw some of that on there at the beginning. That'll be crazy. Ooh. This kind of reminds me of GTA music right now. Maybe, maybe quick writing session. Yeah, this distance. Two, three, one. Uh. Cold as a December night a few weeks ago. I remember bumping Hoven cold on my speakerphone. Asking to myself if I would tap into a deeper zone. Climbing faster up the ladder, but I'm scared my legs give out before I reach the throne. All right, that's a good one. That is a good one. That is a good one. Did my voice crack? You knew Metro for a while before actually something became of it. So just talk about the importance of building the personal relationship before you start just sending stuff right away. I'm a firm believer that uh, in the music industry, it's 80% networking and relationships and 20% music. If you are on good terms with a lot of people, they'll be more inclined to work with you. From what I've seen and from my experience, having a good personality, being humble, being uh, willing to learn, just being genuine, just being yourself, I think mm -hmm. is extremely important with people. I've been in situations where I've met someone for the first time, did a session, whatever, did a song and like never spoken to them again. People are way more receptive to having first a personal relationship and, and then kind of building off, off that. Another. I hear like Ariana Grande on this one. Speaking of Ariana Grande, let's use Ramzoid snare. Where was it from? Oh, you're so weird. Oh, he's so weird. Something about like R&B like this, I feel like I have a bit more freedom when it comes to color and stuff. Oh, let's use the scrape. I never get to use the scrape. Okay, that's gonna go hard. Good one, next one. Let's do like one more. But I'm hungry, I am hungry though. How do you think you can build that personal relationship online. You have to be more aggressive online to like kind of get their attention, but you really just have to know when to say something and when not to say something. Like don't bombard someone every day. Hey, how's it going? How are you? Hey, hey, hey. Comment on a post. They release something. Fire emojis. <laughs> Respond to stories if you connect with it. Like don't be afraid to do that kind of thing. Don't be afraid to tweet them because a lot of people like notice that and, and watch that. And if you stay engaged with them, they'll recognize that. When do you think a good time 
to start shooting your shot is then? I think once it becomes apparent that there's like a good rapport going, when it becomes less one-sided. So when mm. it's like, say you respond to someone like, you know, often and you're just getting like a like, or you're just getting whatever versus when they start responding to you or whatever, when you feel like there's more of them also engaging with you, that's when I would start being like, hey, by mm. the way, I got some stuff for you. Let's make a few more beats with these loops. Yeah. Yeah, so this, this one's really easy. You can hear the spins 808 right away. Eugene gave me like a tip specifically. I sent him the R&B pack and then he told me that I should start sending out my melodies. Right after you have the main sample, just kind of put down the other instruments one by one. And now that I'm using his loops, I really see the appeal. Cause now I can make them unique, put them into own mixer channels, you know, do different processing, different arrangements. So it's really helpful. Give me the bass as well. But I won't even use the original one. Quick beat, the classic two-step hi-hat with the classic. The classic clap. I'm kind of down to try this. What if we made this unique as a sample? We reversed it, kind of made it like swell. So instead of a riser, we'll just use this. It's pretty lazy of me, but it's kind of nice. <laughs> That was one of the easiest times I've ever had making a beat. I, I, I really didn't have to think about it. Based on what you know about me and my situation, what do you think is the best way to go about getting a placement? Do you cold DM artists ever? Like, do you just go on Instagram and be like, message them no, to their cold? I haven't. You should definitely do that. You're verified. They're gonna see that pop up and they're gonna be more inclined to respond uh, just because it looks more official, which because it is. List here a little bit of your credentials. It'd be like, I'd love to send you some beats. Here's a little Dropbox link. And you could just put that right in the Instagram and they'll be able to click on it. Michael Scott quoting Wayne Gretzky said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So when you come in cold, you're not like beating around the bush. Hey, how's your day today? You're just, no, no, you're no. going in. It's because straight just, business. If you're coming in cold like that to the DM, you're not trying to build that personal. You want to catch their eye. They're getting thousands of DMs a day. Then once you caught their eye, then you can start building the personal relationship. All right, and we're also doing like a little betting pool. So uh, what do you think the time frame is on me getting my first one? June 2021, you're going to have one. June 2021, okay, gotcha. Do you want to shout anything out? I do a producer podcast with my partner, Nick Henriquez. Uh, called Thoughts in Stereo, at Thoughts in Stereo on Instagram. Tips, tricks for producers, little stories like these uh, that we both have. We try to be un uh, as unbiased as, pop as possible, and we have a lot of great guests on. Ready for an awkward goodbye? Here it comes. This is it. Yeah, and I'm ending the call. Here we go. One, two, three. Here it comes. <laughs> right there. You... <laughs> We can definitely do some trap soul stuff here. Ooh, like a sexy little water loop. Let's chop something. I'm thinking of adding like, oh, we add a melody of our own to kind of help fortify the new chord progression. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> you think if I tame the high end, it'll sound less Christmassy? Wait, it might be you. It might be you. 
Okay, this one is kind of weird because it's really soulful then it gets really aggressive. So I got to do writing practice. If I can't write anything to it, then it's a bust. <laughs> My throat's in pain. Not in that way. Yeah, get the distance. Two, three. Okay, big dog, big man, doing big things. I'm a gold mid evil, call me Ving Rames. Catch me running this league like I'm King James. 2018 when the king came. Big dog, big man, doing big things. It works I'm during the soulful evil, section. Catch me running this league like I'm King James. And that kind of works. 2018 when the king came. Big dog, big man, doing big things. I'm a gold mid evil, call me Ving Rames. Catch me running this. Okay, that means we're good. We're done here. Okay, so let's get a little drop box for him. Let's drag these beats in. You know, a couple of those. <laughs> I'm shocked out of my mind emoji. On to the next thing, I guess. This is an editing day for me. That's why I'm ratchet as hell right now. You know, but an hour ago, baby no money slid in my DMs. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. If you like this video, leave a like. If you really like this video, subscribe. If you didn't like this video, leave. Just leave. Get out of here.